Because you have extroverted intuition as an ENTP, you might feel like the world is operating at twice the speed for you that it is for everyone else. ENTPs are rapid rate learners, people that connect dots and see patterns quickly and people that are able to translate new ideas to reality at an immense rate. Now, as an ENTP, you might feel like life is going a lot faster for you. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to keep that engine running, but also how to avoid boredom and also how to maintain a clear compass no matter what is happening. Now, ENTPs tend to love fast learning. They like to skip to the important part of a book. They like to find a way to get to the point of a video as soon as possible. They want to learn and they want to find the nutshell, the information, the gold, and they want to discard everything else. So ENTPs tend to zoom in, learn, and tend to dart around while learning things. That means while they might go into a new topic and they might be super fascinated by it, they tend to be super fascinated by particular nuggets of wisdom and they tend to be pretty picky about what kind of things they want to hone in or focus on. So ENTPs tend to jump into a field and then they want to learn about that specific part of that field and they want to learn things as quick as possible. But there's a consequence here, there is a downgrade and that is that you might be missing out on information. <laughs> so. When you don't, uh, when you learn too quickly and when you make no attempt to retain the information that you're learning, it all goes in one ear and out the other. And while you're having so much fun learning about new things, you might find that you're constantly jumping from thing to thing, learning about all kinds of different fields and considering all kinds of different thoughts. But hey, if I'd ask you what you learned yesterday, you might not even know the answer. You might not remember. What was I doing? I was browsing Wikipedia. I was reading about butterflies. I was reading about rabbits. What did I read about the rabbits? Uh, because of this, ENTPs like Bill Gates, for example. Yes, I think he's an ENTP. He might be an ENTJ, but I think he is an ENTP. He uh, will have rules to embody and to improve his learning. So one thing he will say is, hey, make notes make notes about everything you learn. So instead of just taking in information, he is also forcing himself to actually write down important pieces of details that he might need to remember later. That's one way of making sure that your extroverted intuition goes all the way down to introverted sensing because your goal is not to jump from thing to thing and to never really get anywhere. No, your goal is to actually find and discover things and to actually remember things. You need to learn to translate your extroverted intuition to introverted sensing. So as an ENTP, your goal is to find ways to actually not just dive into new fields, but actually to retain and consider and know how to apply what you learn in a practical manner. So it's not just about the abstractions, not just about the fun, but it's also about the fact that you have a duty to actually make something out of the things that you learn, to actually make use of the experiences that you gather. So if you're learning new things or thinking about new things, think about how you can make use of what you learn. <laughs> now, how do you make sure that you don't get bored well, you have to do this. Oh my God, writing down things takes so much time. Oh my God, I want to just get to the end of this book and I want to read as many books as possible. But I, you know, like how do you make sure that you actually stay on track? Well, I'd say make sure it's important information. You know, if it's important information, if it matters, if it holds any form of meaning to you, if it offers to solve a problem that you have in your life, or if it offers to teach you something that you can make use of in your day-to-day -day life, well, that's gonna make it a lot easier. So if you're just casually learning about whatever, probably you're not gonna feel very motivated to actually retain the information. But if you're learning about something that is relevant to your goals or to your passions or your interests, I'm gonna say it's gonna be a lot easier for you to stay on track. So even if it gets boring at times, and even if it is a drag sometimes, as long as it feels meaningful and if, as long as it feels motivating, I think you're gonna be able to sit through it and you're gonna be able to actually nail those tests and actually finish the things you wanna finish. Thank you so much for watching and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.